Well, hey, check it out, man. We got the brand new uh, DHP uh, Choppers T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. Four man Choppers, man. You know what I'm saying? The three bar rim. We celebrating three years. You know what I'm saying? Chopping it up right here on Dine East Podcast. That's what's up. A lot up. of y'all be asking, man. Hey, man, how can I support you? And I say, hey, man, just watch the show. And they say, man, how can I really support you? Hey, man, get a T-shirt right now. DineEastWorld.com. You know what I'm saying? Black, smoke, gray, white. We got the hats. You know what I'm saying? All that. Subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. And the crazy part about it that I'm going to say for the first time, I would have been a different, in a different position if I, stayed with the, if I stayed for the Rough Rider Cash Money Tour. I would have been enough, but it wasn't. Like I said, sometimes your destiny is called for a certain thing. You don't know what it is, but you know what I mean? I left them right before the... Uh, right, why, did you, uh, why did you end up leaving? Before then, because I mean, that was... Um, man, I, I left them, we was in, um, we was in Miami. We was in Miami. I left them in Miami. I walked off. I walked off the bus in Miami. Yeah, I walked off. Yeah, it's my first time telling all of this. Yeah, I walked off the bus in Miami, bro. Like, you know, you know, you got a little. You know, what I'm saying. You know, when somebody trying to handle. You know, you know, what I'm saying. You got into handle. it with, with like baby and them. Or like well, the well, well. Basically, we didn't see eye to eye about some. Hmm. You know, what I'm saying we didn't see eye to eye about something. And everybody was. I'm, I'm the only nigga from the H. Hmm. You get what I'm saying? And that's just some real shit. I was the only dude, and of, of course, I'm from the islands, I'm from the H, you know, but I wasn't no fool, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand, I'm navigated from coming from a whole third world to here, bro, like, I've been through the jungle, like, you know, so mentally, I had to figure out what was best for me, you know? And big ups to Cash Money, baby, the whole nine, man, it's my number of love for them, because at the end of the day, I wouldn't be rude if, you know, wasn't that, if I didn't have that chapter. You know what I'm saying? So it's all love. But at the end of the day, this is my truth now. I'm letting you know what the deal was. Even when I was with Cash Money, Baby said, man, Rue, you was dope as fuck. But man, what I'm going to do with you, bro? <laughs> no, because it was new. Dope, but new. I had to deal with Interscope. That's a whole nother ball game again. I had a big deal with Interscope that I ended up not taking. Because of, yeah, I had a big deal with Interscope. This was around the Cash Money time? No, nah, that was at, right after, when I did the Excuse Me album, my first album. Hmm. You remember when I had yeah. little O and C note, yeah, which we're sure. going to yeah. shine, shine, yeah. shine. They wanted that record for, I could call the names now, Mr. Step Johnson, Mr. Step Johnson, he was a mix show coordinator at Interscope, and Jimmy Iovine. I had a meeting with them, sitting like we here. But for some reason, when I went down there, bro, I had the biggest headache in my life that I ever had in, that I ever had in my life. And I always remember that day. I always remember that day. Like, I, I don't know what that was about. I, wanna, I don't want to say it was for this or for that. Or, but, bro, that was a headache that I never had in my life. And I still remember it up to today. Long story short, dealing, we didn't do the deal. Akon was signed after that. Now you get what I'm saying. Now this is, y'all could go check. Akon was signed the same year. You get what I'm saying? So, so now the sound was getting accepted. Because, you know what I mean? Y'all called me in for the Shine record. I had C-Note, big ups to C-Note, big ups to Lil O. You know what I mean? They were on that record then. Well, we were killing it. You remember that record, Donnie? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah and Diamonds and Pearls too with mm -hmm, Kiki. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Big ups to the Don. The what up, Kiki? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I was doing big budget. I, I did a video club rhythms for Diamonds and Pearls. South Park Mex Mexican showed love. He came up. Big up South Park. Free South Park Mexican. Um, Kiki came through. You know what I mean? Big up to the Don. You know what I mean? Much love. Like I said, I was the first, one of the first ones to do like a big budget kind of video. Like on my own. I'm talking about no labels, none of that. Hmm. I'm talking about I had cranes doing all kind of cranes. And How much were those videos back then? Like 60 that? something thousand. Oh, shit. Yeah. And it, yeah. But that's the kind of, man, I was, I had a crew riding with me. Man, I ain't signed now. One of them niggas was signed to me. I was just on some love. Even up to today, they called me up today and said, man, Rue, man, man, that was some real shit you did, bro. You, I wouldn't have seen the U.S. if it wasn't for you, bro. Because you know we went around this thing. Mm. Tons. Of, remember I had my Rue van and the mm -hmm. whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, so with the, with the, Rough Riders tour, like I said, I walked off the but you know, hey, I had to get out of there. You know what I'm saying? Get out, you know, I let them have it. You know what I mean? For some reason, man, my- It got that heated that, 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 that you had to, you saying you got to get it, like it got that heated that you had to, like, man, I just got to get up out of here. Now, well, basically, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you know when a, a nigga 
trying to you know you know when you 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 somebody trying to go there come on bro you know you know by certain yeah. length you know when somebody trying to go there and at the end of the day man i'm gonna respect everybody's establishment you know what i mean if i'm around your thing i'm gonna ex re excuse myself you know what i'm saying and i have nothing else to say but that's yours that ain't mine you know what i mean you can do what you gonna do i got i could do what i do you know what i mean so they went on to the rough riders tour and this is the big this is the part that I told you it would have been different. Rich Niggas was one of the biggest records for Juvenile 400 Degrees. Right? Back that ass up, Rich Niggas. You know what I mean? Certain, at least three, four of them, whatever. And, um, yeah, Rich Niggas was, 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 was one of the biggest records. And the crazy, if y'all go back on Rough Riders tour, anybody that got the, the you know they got the VHS on mm -hmm. it, right? They still got the film. Rich niggas, when they were doing that record, everybody who stood up was waiting to see who's coming out mm. with that. It's like monkey see monk. I would have been probably big. Man, ain't no telling, bro. I ain't gonna even say it, bro. But just think about the element of surprise with anything. It's gonna get a main focus. It's gonna get a main focus. You know what I'm saying? So you know, just me thinking about how things go, I just think if like I was that element to run out there, you know, but they told he's like monkey see monkey do. Well, everybody gonna try. man that guy you know what i mean but it didn't happen that way and you know i'm still here hmm. so and that's really the key to it you know what i mean like i said big ups to cash money and i give him nothing but love for getting me to the to the point i need to get at but you still went on to do uh no limit you know what i'm saying did tight whip i did it right after no Lim man that's another story donnie houston, donnie houston.